When it comes to motion sickness, finding a solution that effectively tackles the problem head-on is crucial. That's where the scopolamine mechanism of action comes into play. With its unique properties, this medication has gained recognition for its ability to alleviate the symptoms of motion sickness. Scopolamine works by targeting the brain's neurotransmitters, specifically acetylcholine receptors. By binding to these receptors, it blocks the transmission of signals that trigger nausea and vomiting, providing relief for those struggling with motion sickness. But what sets scopolamine apart from other medications? Its long-lasting effects make it a favorite among many travelers. Unlike other treatments that may require frequent dosing, scopolamine's transdermal patch provides continuous relief for up to three days. This convenience makes it an ideal choice for individuals on long trips or those prone to recurrent motion sickness. Incorporating scopolamine into your travel routine might be the solution you've been looking for. Whether you're taking a road trip or embarking on a cruise, this medication could be the key to enjoying your journey without the discomfort of motion sickness. What is scopolamine? Scopolamine, also known as hyacine, is a medication that belongs to the class of anticholinergic drugs. It is derived from plants such as the deadly nightshade and is commonly used to treat various conditions, including motion sickness, nausea, and vomiting. The drug was first isolated in the 1800s and has since been widely studied for its efficacy in managing motion sickness. Scopolamine is available in different formulations, including oral tablets, injections, and transdermal patches. However, the transdermal patch form is most commonly used for motion sickness due to its convenience and long-lasting effects. Understanding Motion Sickness Before delving into the mechanism of action of scopolamine, it's essential to understand what motion sickness is and why it occurs. Motion sickness is a common condition that affects individuals when they are traveling in vehicles, such as cars, planes, boats, or trains. It occurs when there is a conflict between the sensory input received by the brain. When you are in motion, your eyes, inner ears, and proprioceptive system, which senses body position and movement, send different signals to your brain. This sensory mismatch can lead to symptoms such as nausea, dizziness, sweating, and vomiting. Motion sickness can be highly uncomfortable and can significantly impact one's ability to enjoy traveling. How Scopolamine Works in the Body The mechanism of action of scopolamine lies in its ability to block the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter in the brain and other parts of the body. Acetylcholine plays a crucial role in various bodily functions, including the regulation of nausea and vomiting. Scopolamine specifically targets the muscarinic acetylcholine receptors in the brain. By binding to these receptors, it prevents acetylcholine from exerting its effects, leading to a reduction in the transmission of signals that trigger nausea and vomiting. This action helps alleviate the symptoms of motion sickness and provides relief to individuals experiencing discomfort. The transdermal patch formulation of scopolamine allows for slow and continuous release of the medication into the bloodstream. This sustained delivery ensures that the drug remains effective for an extended period, typically up to three days. The patch is applied behind the ear, where it is absorbed through the skin and enters the bloodstream. The Mechanism of Action of Scopolamine The mechanism of action of scopolamine can be further understood by exploring its effects on the central nervous system CNS. The drug acts as a central anticholinergic agent, meaning it affects the functioning of the brain and spinal cord. When scopolamine binds to the muscarinic acetylcholine receptors in the CNS, it disrupts the balance between the excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitters. This disruption leads to a decrease in the activity of certain brain areas, particularly those involved in the regulation of nausea and vomiting. Additionally, scopolamine exerts its effects on the vestibular system, which is responsible for maintaining balance and spatial orientation. By modulating the activity of the vestibular system, scopolamine helps reduce the sensory mismatch that contributes to motion sickness. The precise details of scopolamine's mechanism of action are still being studied, but its ability to target specific receptors involved in motion sickness has made it a valuable tool in managing this condition. Effectiveness of scopolamine in treating motion sickness Scopolamine has been extensively studied for its effectiveness in treating motion sickness. Numerous clinical trials and real-world applications have demonstrated its efficacy in alleviating the symptoms associated with this condition. One study published in the Journal of Travel Medicine found that scopolamine significantly reduced the severity of motion sickness symptoms compared to a placebo. The study involved participants who were exposed to motion sickness-inducing stimuli, such as virtual reality simulations and rotating chairs. Those who received scopolamine experienced fewer episodes of nausea and vomiting, 
demonstrating the drug's effectiveness in managing motion sickness. Another study published in the European Journal of Anesthesiology investigated the use of scopolamine for preventing postoperative nausea and vomiting, a common side effect of anesthesia. The study found that scopolamine effectively reduced the incidence of postoperative nausea and vomiting, further highlighting its antiemetic properties. Scopolamine's long-lasting effects make it particularly advantageous for individuals on extended trips or those prone to recurrent motion sickness. Unlike other medications that may require frequent dosing, the transdermal patch provides continuous relief for up to three days, allowing individuals to enjoy their journey without the discomfort of motion sickness. Scopolamine versus other motion sickness medications. When it comes to choosing a medication for motion sickness, several options are available. Each medication works differently and has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Here, we'll compare scopolamine to other commonly used motion sickness medications. Dimenhydrinate. Dimenhydrinate commonly marketed as Dramamine, is an antihistamine medication that is frequently used for motion sickness. It works by blocking histamine receptors in the brain, which helps alleviate nausea and vomiting. While dimenhydrinate is effective, its sedative effects can be significant, causing drowsiness and impairing cognitive function. In contrast, scopolamine is less likely to cause drowsiness, making it a preferred choice for individuals who need to stay alert during their travels. Meclizine. Meclizine, also known as Bonini or Antivert, is another antihistamine commonly used for motion sickness. Like dimenhydrinate, meclizine works by blocking histamine receptors. It is known to have fewer sedative effects compared to dimenhydrinate, but it may still cause drowsiness and impair cognitive function. Scopolamine's unique mechanism of action, without significant sedative effects, makes it an attractive alternative for individuals who want relief without feeling drowsy. Ginger. Ginger has long been used as a natural remedy for various ailments, including motion sickness. It is believed to work by reducing inflammation and irritation in the stomach. While ginger can be effective for mild cases of motion sickness, its efficacy may vary among individuals. Scopolamine, on the other hand, provides more reliable and consistent relief due to its targeted mechanism of action. Promethazine. Promethazine, an antihistamine with antiemetic properties, is sometimes used for motion sickness. It blocks histamine receptors and also affects other neurotransmitters in the brain. Promethazine can cause drowsiness and other side effects, including dry mouth and blurred vision. Scopolamine's specific targeting of acetylcholine receptors makes it a preferable option for individuals looking to avoid these side effects. It's important to note that the choice of medication for motion sickness may vary depending on individual preferences, medical history, and the severity of symptoms. Consulting with a healthcare professional can help determine the most suitable option for each person's unique needs. Side Effects and Precautions of Scopolamine While scopolamine is generally well tolerated, it can cause certain side effects in some individuals. Common side effects include dry mouth, blurred vision, drowsiness, and dizziness. These effects are typically mild and transient, resolving on their own as the body adjusts to the medication. In rare cases, individuals may experience more serious side effects, such as confusion, hallucinations, or an increased heart rate. If any of these occur, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. Scopolamine should be used with caution in certain populations, including individuals with glaucoma, urinary retention, or gastrointestinal obstruction. It may also interact with other medications, so it is crucial to inform healthcare professionals about any existing medical conditions or medications being taken. Pregnant women and nursing mothers should consult with their healthcare providers before using scopolamine, as its safety in these populations has not been thoroughly studied. Dosage and administration of scopolamine. The transdermal patch formulation of scopolamine is the most commonly used for motion sickness. The patch is applied behind the ear, preferably several hours before travel to allow for sufficient absorption of the medication. The dosage and duration of scopolamine use may vary depending on individual needs and travel plans. It is important to follow the instructions provided by healthcare professionals or included in the medication package. Typically, the patch is worn for up to three days, providing continuous relief throughout the journey. It is crucial to avoid touching the adhesive side of the patch and to wash hands thoroughly after applying it to prevent accidental contact with the eyes or other mucous membranes. Alternative uses of scopolamine. While scopolamine is primarily used for motion sickness, it has also been investigated for its potential in treating other conditions. Some areas of research include postoperative nausea and vomiting, 
scopolamine has been shown to effectively reduce the incidence of postoperative nausea and vomiting, making it a valuable addition to anesthesia protocols. Psychiatric Disorders Scopolamine has shown promise in the treatment of various psychiatric disorders, including major depressive disorder and bipolar disorder. Studies have suggested that it may have antidepressant effects, although further research is needed to establish its efficacy and safety in these applications. Memory Enhancement Scopolamine has been studied for its potential to enhance memory and cognition. Research has shown that it may improve memory retrieval and consolidation, making it an intriguing area of investigation for individuals with memory impairments. Parkinson's Disease Scopolamine has been explored as a potential treatment for Parkinson's disease. Some studies have suggested that it may help alleviate certain motor symptoms associated with the condition, although more research is needed to determine its efficacy and safety. It's important to note that while these alternative uses are being explored, scopolamine is currently approved and primarily used for motion sickness. Consulting with healthcare professionals is essential before considering scopolamine for any off-label use. Conclusion Motion sickness can put a damper on travel plans and rob individuals of the joy of the journey. Fortunately, scopolamine offers a reliable solution for those struggling with motion sickness. Its unique mechanism of action, targeting acetylcholine receptors in the brain, provides effective relief from the symptoms of nausea and vomiting. Compared to other motion sickness medications, scopolamine stands out with its long-lasting effects and convenience of use. The transdermal patch formulation allows for continuous relief for up to three days, making it a popular choice for individuals on extended trips or those prone to recurrent motion sickness. While scopolamine is generally well tolerated, it is important to be aware of potential side effects and precautions. Consulting with healthcare professionals and following the recommended dosage and administration guidelines ensures safe and effective use of the medication. Incorporating scopolamine into your travel routine can be the key to enjoying your journey without the discomfort of motion sickness. Whether you're embarking on a cruise, taking a road trip, or hopping on a plane, scopolamine's mechanism of action can help you tackle motion sickness head-on and make your travels more enjoyable. So, make sure to consider scopolamine as your go-to solution for motion sickness and embrace the freedom to explore the world without the constraints of nausea and vomiting.